Cheeses are the subject of today's Food for Thought. My name is Jodie Bunting and this is our daily live health tip to help you lose some weight. Now, cheeses are, they've been around for about over a year now and I've tried before on my channel the cheddar cheese variety. Well, today I've got some new flavours to try and you can see I've already been into them. I was so excited. I couldn't wait for you guys. I'm sorry. Uh, but today we're going to be talking about the Gouda ones, which are basically smoother and mellower, so not as strong. And then they've also got the Red Leicester one, uh, which is strong and tangy. That is the description of these. For those of you that have never heard of cheeses before, it's basically baked cheese. And that's all it is, 100% baked cheese. That's the greatest thing about these packets. There's no other ingredient inside. Uh, they are high in protein, 119 calories per bag, uh, no carbs. So obviously because it's just cheese, it is completely carb free. Uh, there's also some good fats in there that are going to make you feel full. Uh, these can be purchased from the Cheesies website, which is linked here, which is cheesies.co.uk, or you can buy them from places like Holland and Barrett and other health food stores. Um, so we don't need to go through the ingredients. Uh, as I said, it's got 119 calories per packet. Um, and I've been actually been uh, snacking on these between my classes because again, they're a good source of protein. And because they've got some good fats in there, it certainly makes you feel full. Um, so protein wise, per 20 gram packet, there's seven grams of protein. Carbs, as I said, there is zero. Uh, fat, there is 10 grams of fat. But because it's naturally occurring fat, uh, it's from cheese, it's from milk, uh, therefore you shouldn't be worried about the fat content. So as I said, we've tried the uh, cheddar one before, and if you want to see the taste test of that one, I've just been watching it back now from lockdown. Have a little search for Jodie Bunting cheddar cheeses and you'll find the review of those. But let's get on to these. Now, let's do the mellow one before. As I said, this is described as smooth and mellow. So let's... We'll do it both ways, guys. You know how I like to try things. This is the first way where we get one piece, I show it you, and then I try it. So that is just Gouda cheese. Now, as I explained last time, it's a little bit like eating a um, the, the pork crunch. You get like a little explosion of fat, like really tasty cheese. And then the other way to eat these products is like this, guys, which is how you would if you were running between classes like me. And that is a cheese explosion in your mouth. Now for saying it's mellow and smooth, That is a really rich flavour coming through. So I'm really loving that actually. And as I said, because it's crunchy as well, it gives you the sensation as if you're eating some nuts or some crisp, but you're obviously not having the bad fats, which is associated with a lot of nuts and crisps. Right, let's move on to something I'm really excited about. And that is the Red Leicester ones. And these are described as strong and tangy. So strong and tangy, uh, very similar health-wise. Per bag, there is seven grams of protein, 10 grams of fat. Are you ready? Let's go for it, guys. So let's have one. Let's have a little close-up on the camera so you can see it's an orange-flavoured piece. Oh, nice. And again... It's crunchy, but you can tell it's cheese. It's got that thickness, that lovely taste on the tongue. And then as with the other one, the real test, that is really thick and it's really got a lovely tang to it. Let's pour them in, guys. Ready? This is not the whole bag, by the way. I've eaten most of the bag. This is probably about a quarter of the bag. I ate them between classes yesterday in Swad. Let's go.
delicious. You could sprinkle on these on a top of a salad instead of uh, croutons. As I said, perfect size to keep in your handbag if you're out and about. I just cannot recommend these enough. If you've got an air fryer, you could try baking them yourself. But as I said, for 99p, I think these are a great snack to keep in the cupboard, keep in the car for a snack on the go. Right, guys, thank you for joining me today. If you'd like to try these, there is a link to the website, which is called cheesies.co.uk. My name has been Jodie Wunting, and that's been today's Food for Thought. Bye for now.